Okay, my next guest <laughs> is one of the great singers in the world. I think Frank Sinatra once said about Tony, he is the greatest singer in the world. And he was a guest, speaking of The Tonight Show, as we were tonight, was a guest of mine on the very first show we right. did, October 1, 1962, out of New York. And he's going to be in Denver for 10 days at the turn of the Century Club starting this Thursday, and then he opens in Las Vegas at the Desert Inn for two weeks starting the 15th of May. What can I say? Mr. Tony Bennett. in this world I never belong I've gotta be me I've gotta be me What else can I be but what I am I wanna live not merely survive I won't give up this dream of life that keeps me alive Gotta be me I've gotta be me This dream that I see makes me what I am That far away prize That world of success is waiting for me if I heed the call I won't settle down or settle for less as long as there's half a chance that I can have it all go it alone that's how it must be I can't be right for somebody else if I'm not right for me. But I've got to be free. But I've got to be free. Daring to try to do it or die. I've got to be me. That's Sammy Davis Jr.'s song, and the reason I sang that song, I thought of all the great performers in, that have given us great American songs, and I'd like to do a salute to those artists. I'd like to start off by singing and playing the music with Doc, the music and the songs of the king of the entertainment world, Francis Albert Sinatra. That it might 
turn out this way Where is that worn out wish that I threw aside after it brought my lover near? I'm certain I've lived a life that's full. I traveled each and every highway and more, much more than this. I did it my way. Regrets, I've had a few, but then again, too few to mention. I did what I had to do I saw it through without exemption I planned each charted course Each careful step along the byway And more, much more than this I did it my way Oh, what is a man? What has he got? not himself, then he has not to say the things he truly feels, not the words of one who kneels, the record shows, I took the blows, I did it my way. I'd love to sing the song that was made famous by the one and only Nat King Cole. There was a boy, a very strange, enchanted boy. They said he wandered very far, very far, over land and sea. A little shy. Sad of eye, but very wise was he. And then one day, this magic boy, he passed my way. And though he spoke of many things, fools and kings, this he said to me the greatest 
thing you'll ever learn is just to love and be loved in return. Thank you, Matt. That is called Artist at Work. Oh, thank you. Uh, man, that was a lovely touch, that last thing. That really is dramatic. Thank you. Super. Boy, for people who missed Nat King Cole performing, they missed something too, didn't they? Didn't they? Yeah. We'll do this, we'll be right back. I shouldn't even hum when you're sitting here. No, okay. no, no. There's no better. No, you, did my you did my favorite song tonight, Rainy Day. Oh, but I'm song. not even going to sing it in the shower anymore. I'm just going to put your record on and listen to it. You remember the very first show? In yes, New York? I do very well. It was a great, exciting night like tonight. It was. You know, we had, uh, I was thinking back, you were on the show with the late Joan Crawford, Rudy Valley, and Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks. We're on that very first show. <laughs> yeah. Seems like a long time ago. It yeah, was no, a long time ago, folks. <laughs> Who do you dig with outside of Sinatra when you sit back and listen to guys? Who would oh, you play? A lot, of, a lot of good singers around. <coughs> Joe Williams. And, oh, well. Yeah. And Sarah Vaughan, Ella Fitzgerald, Peggy Lee. Yeah. A lot of goodies. They're all sensational. You yeah. see any upcoming young singers? I mean, in the style of singer-singers. I mean, saloon singers. I, I'm not talking about the rock thing as much. Uh, but uh, Well, I think there's not so many new ones, but a lot of underrated singers. You know, yeah. Johnny Hartman. Yeah. And, uh, John Hendricks, I think, is a phenomenal, different kind of jazz You think it's just a matter of, like, like, like a big record or something? That's what usually does I, it. it I, I believe so. Catapults them into the public eye, you There's know. There's something you, that puts them in focus. Your first big record was Rags to, Rags to Riches, well, right? Well, Because of You was the first Because of You, right. Way back at 50. Because of you. That one. There's a song. <laughs> in my heart. <laughs> Bob Anderson, right? Bob Anderson. <laughs> <laughs> you, uh... Do you ever get heckled in nightclub singers? Uh, uh, you know what they do? I mean, we've talked about this before. As soon as you start to sing a song that people recognize, they always applaud immediately, whether it's your hit or whether it's anybody else's hit, because I think they recognize the song. Then you'll see people in nightclubs who want to sing along, especially if they know the lyrics. You know, you do all the way. That know? actually happened to And you'll hear people, and now the time has <laughs> oh, that throwing your, you know, where they're singing with you, but just loud enough so you can hear them. Does that happen? Well, it happened in a different way. One night, it's St. Paddy's Day. I'll never forget it because it was at the Dunes Hotel. Oh, that must have been fun on St. Paddy's Day. And uh, I'm, I'm singing along and everybody's enjoying it. And all of a sudden, uh, these three <laughs> buddies that were hanging out with one another, this guy said, uh, sing an Irish song. <laughs> so I said, uh, do I look Irish? <laughs> I said, I, said I, I can't do that. So they kept heckling and I did the old Milton Berle trick. I said, here's the microphone, you sing it. And this gentleman got up and shirt sleeves, a beautiful looking guy with black hair and blue eyes, dark blue eyes, and he sang the greatest version of I'll Take You Home Again, Kathleen, that I've ever Real heard Irish tenor since type John of... McCormick. I mean, it, yeah. it, he tore the house, he got a full standing ovation. I felt like Don Rickles. I just, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> thought you were going to pick on this poor guy. <laughs> right. I'll take it. And then just beautiful. Yeah. It was perfect. Best singer I ever heard. He just set you up. <laughs> he set me up. <laughs> Next time you see that guy, you'll know. Don't give him the mic. <laughs> That's fine. We'll take a short break. Tim Galloway is with us. James Galloway. So don't go away. <laughs>